Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this presentation of the Sirius XM TTR2 Sound Station Business Radio. We are Sona Media and we are national providers of Sirius XM Music for Business. If you have not activated your Sirius XM Music for Business account, please go to this phone number right here, 877-307-6677 and you will speak to an experienced sales rep and we'll get you rocking in no time. But for now, let's get on to this TTR2. This is a portable radio. It is able to connect to the internet via both a wireless and wired connection. Uh, when you receive your TTR2 radio, you will receive also within your box, your stereo RCA, two headphone jack auxiliary, your wireless Sirius XM TTR2 radio remote, your auxiliary to auxiliary cable, AKA headphone jack to headphone jack, your wireless ethernet adapter, I'm sorry, wired ethernet adapter. The, uh, the port in the back of the TTR2 radio is a USB port, um, so you do need this jack in order to connect your ethernet cable. Speaking of ethernet cables, you also receive your Ethernet cable for your wired connection and your AC power adapter. At this point, we must tell you, please do not use any other AC power adapter than the AC power adapter that has been provided to you within your TTR2 sound station business radio uh, package. If you do use another AC power adapter to power this radio, uh, you may experience some very serious uh, repercussions. Um, Powering the radio with another AC adapter is very dangerous. Powering any device with an AC adapter has not been provided with it is very dangerous. It can short out the device and cause you uh, obvious damage with your music for business service and uh, possibly damage the device irreparably. Now that we've looked at that, let's take a look at the back of the TTR2 radio. back of this device is very simple. This is it. You have your uh, base port here and this is this hole above your connections. You have your AC power adapter input where you connect your power and the USB input which like I said you can you use to uh, connect your Ethernet adapter as well. On the top of the device we do have the alarm clock functions and the power button. Um, the TTR2 radio is uh, very unique uh, because it does have alarm clock functions. Uh, it's very popular for people in the healthcare profession uh, because they can all not only take the radio with them from uh, room to room, uh, but they can also use it to set alarms uh, during procedures or um, you know for uh, imaging or uh, any other practice where you may need alarm service. On the front of the radio, let's make some space here. On the front of the radio, we have our large speaker here, which is very powerful. Uh, we have our large LCD uh, full color screen. We have our menu select buttons here. We have our home button, our menu button, our back button, onboard volume control, our tuner selection knob, and our 10 presets on the bottom. So why don't we move on to uh, turning this on, shall we? Turning on your TTR2 sound station business radio is very simple. First, turn the device around. And we connect our power cable. And for a wired connection, which we recommend for all businesses for the best connection, we use our 
Ethernet adapter. Plug it into the USB port here. After you plug that into the USB port, You will connect your ethernet cable to your ethernet adapter. And the device should already be experiencing power. As you can see, nice big clock. Like I said, very, very, very convenient for people in the healthcare profession. Um, very visible, uh, large speaker for alarms, uh, and when you want to turn on your device, press the power button here. When your device comes on, you will see this menu in front of you. We have categories, recent, on demand, equalization, setup, and aux in. Categories. You can select your cat. You can select all options here on the TTR2 radio with the tune knob by turning it left and right. We're going to select categories, and if you are not logged in, you will see an error. When you go to set up your credentials, if you have to, uh, all TTR2 radios and all Sono Media radios for Sirius XM Music for Business will come to your business. Uh, actually set up and your credentials credentials will be logged in already so you will be able to see this menu here and just go about your day choose your music and uh, do things without having to go through the step but in the event that your credentials are lost from the radio if it's reset um, if there was a power failure of some kind that were to reset your uh, login credentials or if they changed um, we are going to show you how to re-enter your credentials so that you can get back up and running as soon as possible. So if in the event that you are uh, not able to log into your SiriusXM Music for Business service on your Grace Digital TTR2 radio, you will go here to Setup. While it's highlighted, you click the tune knob and you will see this menu here. In this menu, we have SiriusXM Account, Network Wizard, Network Info, Firmware Update, Info, Factory reset, display brightness, clock and alarms, and power management. Now, for this, um, for the credentials, we need to go to SiriusXM account. And if you let it go too long, it will go back to the main menu. But it's okay. You just click set up again. Go to SiriusXM account, and what you see here is the login screen. Here you will be prompted to enter your username and password, aka your SiriusXM Music for Business credentials. And what we have is a very simple menu. Capital letters, lowercase letters, and if you continue, you have symbols and numbers. And we restart. So for the purpose of this video, we'll say that our credentials are so new. And when you are done, you will see here that there is a menu on the bottom. You can either choose to cancel, move left, enter, move right, or delete. This is allowed to, to allow you to uh, go back, change things, cancel, start over, very simple. And the middle button here is for enter, so we're gonna enter. And as you can see, it enters Sonu for our username. And for our password, we will enter media. And we will hit enter again. 
Now being that this is not actual credentials for an actual customer, you will see that it has failed. Now what we will do is we will cut screen here for just a moment and we will go to uh, some very active credentials which we will not show you for um, privacy of our customers and we'll show you what happens once we log into our TTR2 radio. Now once you have entered correct uh, your correct credentials uh, you will see that it has been accepted. There will be a little window that pops up here and says that it is accepted and you will be able to access the rest of your TTR2 radio, including the categories, which we were trying to go see previously, but we were not logged in. So let's go to categories and you'll see here you have a large menu full of options. We have all channels, all channels A to Z, which is uh, all channels in alphabetical order, obviously. Uh, we have pop, rock, hip hop and R&B, dance electronic, country, Christian, Jazz Standards, Classical, Latino, Kids, Canadian, and that is the end of the list. Um, if you go to all channels, you will see the channels in number order. So we have channel 2, channel 3, channel 4, channel 5, channel 6, channel 7, all the way up through our 100 plus licensed music for business channels. <clears throat> when you select a channel, and we'll select the Beach Boys channel, which is a summer long event happening here in summer 2018 and you will see the Beach Boy channel uh, Beach Boy channel is currently running and you can turn up the volume Now, be it as this is on YouTube, I'm not going to let that play for too long or else this YouTube video won't load. <laughs> but we're going to go back and as you can see, this is how you choose your stations. Uh, when you have your station up, it will show just like this. Uh, you will have all an al album artwork, uh, sorry. We'll hit back and we'll choose another station just to show you album, album artwork. So as you can see here, the Top 40's hit station is playing the licensed version of One Direction's No Control. And if you leave it on the station, it will continuously play in your business all day. At the bottom here, you do have your buttons for back, forward, and pause. And you can hit this again to hit play. Or you can hit the go to live button over here. And it will bring you to the currently played track on that station. Uh, the track that is currently and most recently playing on the station broadcast itself. Now we're gonna go back to our home screen. So we're gonna get home, hit home. And we're going to select recent. And as you can see here, it will show you the most recent shows or channels that you have played on your TTR2 radio. Uh, this is very convenient. Uh, it is a little faster than your preset buttons here on the bottom. And like I said, and if you do not touch anything on the radio, it will go back to its default screen, which is what is now playing. If you are on this on your station, you want to make it a preset while it is playing you will choose a preset button here at the bottom click it hold it in and you will see that it has saved that preset to that button so if i were to go back go to categories go to channels choose another channel now our now playing channel is 60s pop hits which is playing angels my boyfriend's back uh, we will choose number one, which is our top 40 hits, and it will immediately change to top 40 hits. Now we're going to go home. Now we're going to choose on demand, and you will see a list of our on demand content. Uh, these are special broadcasts that have been um, licensed for Music for Business and you can select all shows 
and it will show you all the interviews and live broadcast events um, that are available to you. You can choose any of this if you so if you would so please. Um, not many businesses are very interested in the on-demand content for SiriusXM Music for Business, uh, but if you are using it to say, um, you know, um, play radio while you're cleaning up your restaurant with your staff or uh, something of that nature, uh, you could use that to listen to interviews or something special uh, that anyone is interested in. Now we're gonna go home. We're gonna go to equalization. And as you can see here, we have the bass and the treble options and you can set the speaker here or the, um, the broadcast coming out from the radio to your speaker system in your business and change up the, uh, the sound levels there to make it to your liking. If you were to have an auxiliary input into your device, you would choose aux in and it would start playing whatever it is that you have connected to the device itself. Um, it would play your cell phone or your laptop, whichever you have connected. And that's been our basic uh, presentation on the TTR2 Soundstation Business Radio. Uh, like I said, if you are not activated for SiriusXM Music for Business, uh, we do not understand why not. It's the best music for business service out there. And if you'd like to get signed up and start rocking in your business, go to this number here, 877-307-6677, and talk to a Sono Media representative, and we'll get you signed up today.